Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Mike here, and so today I want to show you a JavaFX application that I have built. It's a full stack native desktop application, and so I want to show you how I built it, the technologies I've used, and a demo, a quick demo of of me using it. So right here, uh, on the uh, on the top left corner I've got the GUI JavaFX GUI application uh, bottom right bottom right is the Spring Boot app, Spring Boot application and the top right is my MySQL database so I've got a three layer architecture I've got a front end a data uh, a front end a back end and a database a front end uses JavaFX the back end uses Spring Boot and the uh, database is MySQL, or the, yeah, database is MySQL. And so, what's going on here is that the user will use the front end, the JavaFX GUI, and will send API calls to the data, uh, no, the, to the back end. The user will send API calls or API requests to the back end, and then the back end will execute on those API calls and will have a connection to the database to, to retrieve information for the GET request and will accept POST requests to update the database. And so uh, let's just jump into the demo. So in here, the user can select uh, what category of bug they, they want to submit when they're submitting the bug, they pick a category. Let's say they, uh, they want to submit text and audio. So let's say the user says let's see okay let's say the user says uh text the some the instantly user says audio is not working audio is not working and let's say that the reason why the or the steps to reproduce the bug is that when when changing the volume when changing the volume sound will stop working and let's say they submit the bug they get confirmation that a bug has been submitted it goes to the uh, back end and the database is then updated so now the database has been updated let's exit out and let's see here the user can see all current bugs and when they click on when they select a row they can see more information and they can resize the columns and stuff. JavaFX has a built-in table view that allows you to do this stuff. And they got all these nice buttons, refresh table, resolve the bug and delete the bug. And so users can sort of uh, work on the bug when they see a new bug that has not been resolved. They can wor work on it and then resolve it or just delete it. And so let's say the user resolves the bug. Well, what happens is that the bug will be moved or pushed to the resolved bugs uh, table. So let's say they resolve bug number 55, the text and audio. So they re resolve it. It then gets pushed to the resolved bugs. And so now they can keep track of uh, the current bugs and resolved bugs. And if they want to delete the bug, they can just hit delete. And it will show up on the table. So if they hit delete on this um, ID number 52, they hit delete. Uh, you can see that in the database, 52 has been deleted. Now they just have to hit refresh, and the table gets refreshed. And the user can also change um, their language. They can change their, their localization, they can change to Chinese. And the application switches to Chinese. You can, of course, hit go back to English. When they're in Chinese mode, uh, like all the uh, categories will have their their uh, all all the labels, the text will be changed to Chinese, but they can still enter English or Chinese. And it'll be fine. So let's enter some Chinese. And when they hit submit, 
that will get confirmation in Chinese. Uh, the only problem is that the uh, well, the category is in Chinese, but I think that's fine. And so yeah, that's the project. And so if you have any questions, just uh, let me know, and I'll respond quickly. Yep.